how's it going guys it's been a while but again it's me the buff nerd uh, sorry for the long gap in videos but um, right now I am currently at work and as you can see I am in the comfort of my home I am still um, a technical support specialist which is uh, a help desk role but I've gotten to the point to where I've become pretty proficient at my job and now they allow me to work from home when it's convenient or on certain weekends the reason for this video is uh, quite a few things have happened since the last time we've touched bases and one of those things is one moment I have obtained my Security Plus certification. Boom. Fantastic, fantastic. I actually uh, obtained it a couple of weeks ago. I obtained it on the 3rd of December. I know you guys um, were probably thinking I would obtain the other half of the CCNA, uh, which is taking the ICND2 exam. But uh, uh, around October, November, uh, life happened and I ended up getting sick. And so uh, being sick and in bed, I was out of commission for weeks um, because you know I had a sinus issue that kind of really took all my time and energy. Uh, but during that time being sick, um, I found myself watching a lot of Law and & Order. And just watching Law and & Order, you know, it's just regular stuff, you know, um, I, I wasn't really thinking too much of it, but I noticed that uh, they had some people that were doing some really cool things in there when it came to computer forensics, you know, um, doing things like going through syslogs, of course, you know, imaging uh, a machine and hashing that image to make sure that it wasn't tampered with, all kinds of cool cybersecurity stuff, and um, it just kind of got me, like, fired up, it, it got me low-key fired up about um the security plus exam and i remember telling you guys that i took security plus twice and i did not pass it and it's because i tried to cram it and you know i was just trying to hurry up and get something under my belt so that i could become or so i can break into the it industry but uh this time around uh i decided that you know what while i'm sick i'm going to slowly um behind the curtains you know study for the security plus and um, while studying it, um, I wasn't really focused on passing it. I was focused on understanding it. And so um, over the course of about a month and a half to two months, um, I was really just digging into the material. And came December 3rd, I, well, I scheduled the exam on the 3rd and I passed it. I passed it with, uh, what was it? Uh, it was a seven, 776 or something along those lines, I can't remember. But uh, long story short, um, uh, the passing score that you need for the Security Plus is uh, 750. And I got above that. So that's uh, like in a mid to high B range, if I'm not mistaken, because the highest you can get is a 900. I digress, anyways. So, oops, sorry about that. So I ended up getting my Security Plus certification. So now I am officially uh, well, I have the trifecta. I have A+, plus, Net+, plus, and Security+, plus. and it only took about a year and a half. And uh, one thing that I need to mention as well, um, when it comes to Cisco, if you guys weren't already aware, um, when you get very specific certifications, uh, you get what they call these stackable certifications. So since I have the A+, plus, Net+, plus, and the Security+, plus, all of those together turn into the CSIS, which is the CompTIA, Secure Infrastructure Specialist. I'm not gonna lie, that shit sounds awesome. Excuse my language. But um, yeah, so you know, instead of you know rambling on about how you have four different certifications, uh, all you have to do is say you have this one, and people, well, a lot of people, some people, not all, of course, but uh, will have a good idea of your knowledge base. They would know what certifications you have. They would know uh, exactly uh, what your skill set is focused on. And so that's just one thing to keep in mind when it comes to, um, you know, the CompTIA certifications and things of that nature. And so now, um, oh man, there's a huge change when it comes to my dynamics and when it comes to recruiters reaching out to me and when it comes to things that people just automatically assume I know. Um, and it, it's just been fun ever since getting the certification, tailoring my resume, uh, adding things like cryptography, 
identity management, uh, uh, risk, uh, risk management, uh, incident response, and things of that nature. All of those things that the Security Plus uh, goes over and make sure you have a good understanding of, you know, when you pass it. Not even two weeks after uh, obtaining the Security Plus, I uh, managed to book a InfoSec uh, security role uh, interview. And uh, that role was uh, as an information analyst. Uh, of course, it was entry level because um, I am not currently in the InfoSec sector or department of the IT industry. So, you know, it was just easy, easy. And um, I wasn't ready for it. Um, I didn't think that I would get any bites that soon. Uh, so I didn't do any studying. Uh, I wasn't on YouTube looking up any uh, looking up any interview questions. I wasn't like trying to figure out what they were gonna ask me. I I, I was totally just spare the moment. Um, they called me while I was at work, and they're like, "Hey, you know, do you have time to answer a few questions?" I'm like, "Sure, why not?" So you know, um, they asked me some technical questions, and it was crazy how unusually prepared I was, well not even unusual, but how prepared I was for uh, the technical questions. Uh, and this is all because of the Security Plus. The Security Plus had me locked and loaded and ready. Uh, they were asking me all kinds of things. They were asking me like the difference between uh, IDS and IPS. And IDS is an intrusion detection system and IPS is intrusion prevention. And uh, they were asking me the differences. and. Uh, they were also asking me things like, um, where is the kernel located? And they were asking me things like, what, what else did they ask me? They were asking me what uh, SIMS I, were, uh, I used on a regular basis or if I did use SIMS. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm all over the place because uh, like I told you, I'm at work. So I got to keep an eye on all three screens to make sure that, you know, everything is staying in order. Uh, Saturday is our slower day. So I got time to make this video in between calls. <laughs> so uh, anyways, so. Uh, yeah, they were asking me all kinds of things and they probably asked me about 12 technical questions and I got maybe uh, about 10 of them correct, you know, and that was a lot better than I anticipated on doing for this first interview because, you know, it's, it's the first interview, you know, and on top of that, I wasn't ready for it. So it's not that I didn't take it serious, but I wasn't going to, you know, be hurt if I did not do as well as I wanted to because I was totally unprepared for it. But um, I managed to do a lot better than I anticipated and it just felt really good. Um, knowing that the Security Plus prepared me for, you know, these kind of situations. I wasn't sure how well it would transition because um, I don't know a lot of people that have the Security Plus certification, you know, and that wasn't an area of the business that I was necessarily diving deep into. As I told you guys, you know, um, I was, you know, looking more towards network administration, you know, getting Cisco certification, CCMP, maybe CCIE, um, but Anyway, so yeah, it was, um, you know, it was very eye-opening and it was uh, very exciting because um, just uh, knowing that you know stuff that people are looking for will automatically get you fired up about anything, about anything at all. And, uh -oh. and uh, it just helps you, you know, move forward and, you know, look for that next certification or look for that next thing to learn. Like it either being like, if you want to learn uh, scripting or coding or Python or you know SQL or whatever the case may be but um, it's just it's just nice some of the tools that I used um, on my journey to get the security plus was uh, test out um, outside of test out I also used um, literally it was just test out and professor Messer and it was just him collectively because uh, uh, he produced a lot of fantastic content, man. Um, his Q and A's on YouTube were were off the charts, man. Uh, if it wasn't for those Q and A's uh, and his practice exams, uh, I probably would have had a harder time trying to pass uh, the certification because uh, his his practice exams uh, were intense, man, and they were intense to the point to where they they were they were so well thought out and well prepared and similar to the exam questions that. The exam questions were actually kind of easier to navigate, <laughs> so it's it's just real funny. But uh, um, yeah, that's literally all I used. It was uh, literally Professor Messer's notes, his practice exams, and test out. And I did that studying for maybe over the course of about a month and a half. You know, not rushed at all. 
I took my time and I already kind of had knowledge of this stuff because I had tried studying for it uh, two times prior uh, when I tried to test for it. So, um, you know, I'm not much of a book reader. So that's that's one of the reasons why, you know, I chose to watch the video series to try and, um, you know, prepare myself. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why it's, it's, it's always been like that. I've never been much of a book reader. Another thing that I will mention uh, that I did in order to prepare and kind of just embed the knowledge into my head uh, was I wrote everything down. I didn't read any books. I just uh, watched the video series and um, paid attention to Professor Messer and used his notes and his, uh, excuse me, uh, used his practice exams. So um, I made it a thing to write down everything, especially things that I didn't know. So uh, actually, I think I got some of the things right here. Yep, I actually do. Right here at my desk, I got one, two, three full notebooks of nothing but notes, uh, buzzwords, things to help me remember and, you know, understand uh, the subjects that were, you know, hard for me, um, specifically cryptography. Um, I noticed that when I had originally, we're good, I noticed that when I had originally taken the Security Plus twice and failed, I noticed that what tripped me up more than anything was cryptography. And the method that I used to try and memorize these things those times around was just memorization. And that is never the way to go. That is never the way to go. That's how you, that's like, that's like studying for a test in high school. Now, uh, since I took my time, I wrote everything down. I memorized everything. And also I made flashcards of everything that I could think of that could possibly come up on the test. Um, and went over those things for weeks at a time all right, we're good. I went over those things for weeks at a time and uh, all of it eventually just connected and uh, I got to the point to where I was very confident <laughs> uh, before taking the test and um, I ended up taking the day off uh, before the test. Um, I, well, I didn't take the whole day off. I say instead of studying for you know eight to ten hours, I studied only for like two maybe. You know, I, I made it a thing to relax uh and try to not be so mission critical uh the day before because uh i noticed that with other certifications i tend to be very very anxious uh when test day comes around and i think that sometimes that shoots me in the foot so um after you know looking at a couple of videos of a few other people that have uh taken certifications it seems like everyone tends to relax the day before uh the test date to just try and clear their heads and uh, that's the route that I took this time and it worked. But um, yeah, that's one thing that I wanted to mention. Now that I've gotten the Security Plus and completed the trifecta, now I'm gonna uh, go back to finishing the CCNA. Uh, I plan on diving head first because as you all know, uh, the Certpocalypse is coming up and and uh, just just over a month <laughs> so um, like I said I've already studied the material I just got to go over it again uh, same thing I did with the security plus I got to go through the video series you know read the study material write everything down lab like I've never labbed before <laughs> and you know I should be able to nail it on the first try but yeah uh, you know um, just giving you guys an update if you have any questions on uh, you know any specific approaches that I took when it came to preparing for the exam if you have any questions on uh, the avenue that I'm gonna go next or you know what's next on the list or whatever the case may be feel free to comment in the section below or you can reach out to me on LinkedIn YouTube any of these social media platforms uh, where I'm available um, I'm always around and I'm always into something related to IT so if you know you can't find me, I guarantee you I'm probably close. Looking into something or practicing something or looking into learning Python, whatever the case may be. But anyways, enjoy your weekend. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.